Hey everybody, Walt Biscardi back with you, and one of the big questions I've been getting asked a lot now, especially since color is available, should I use it? Should I go ahead and jump into this color correction software? And you know, my big answer to that is, are you willing to learn a whole new workflow? Here is the Final Cut Pro that we all know and love, and this shot is ready to be graded. And then here's the same shot in color, ready to be graded. But obviously this looks and operates completely differently than anything we've done in Final Cut Pro. If you're willing to learn a new workflow, then yeah, you could go ahead and start learning color, but color is not something you're going to do in three clicks. Go back to Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and drop the old familiar three-way color corrector that we all know and love. I take my white and I go ahead and click on this guy's white shirt and that gives us a little bit of a balance. Click on the black, so I'll go ahead and click on that. Eh, let's just choose this area right down here. It's kind of black. I've got a shot basically starting to come together. Let's go ahead and drop the blacks down over here in the scope so we can see that. I'm going to go ahead and bring the whites up a little bit, brighten the scene up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and give it a lot of color. You can see down in the uh, vector scope, i got a lot of room for color. So what was that, about 20, 30 seconds? I went from our original shot to there because the tools in Final Cut Pro are incredibly easy. Now let's switch over and look at the same thing in color. Here's that exact same shot. And I'll go over here and use my auto balance, and yeah, that gives me a really nice balanced look. I can jump into the secondary. I'll go into saturation curve and go, yeah, you know what? I want to bring up that sky a little bit. This is approximately where the sky is. Go ahead and bring that up. I'm bringing up too many other things. Let's drop that down a little bit. Now I've got that going pretty darn nicely. So now I can go into the hue and just maybe just kind of play with the hue of the sky just to touch and say, yeah, I kind of like that a little bit. Maybe just uh, go over here to our saturation. Let's make that 1.2. Ooh, not 11.2. Let's make that 1.2. Give it a little bit more color. Now you can see I've got a ton more color down here. I've got that up there. Yeah, this shot looks very nice. Here it is in Final Cut Pro. In fact, why don't I go ahead and hide all of this. There we go. There's the two shots side by side. Now, was I able to make it look completely different in color? Absolutely, I was. Was I able to do it fast? Well, yeah, I've been using the darn thing for a year and a half. Um, so, I don't know. It's your call. I mean, this shot over here, perfectly acceptable to me. Uh, it could go out just the way it is. Over here, I've gone ahead and added a little bit more blue to the scene. His uh, purple pants are coming out a little bit more. You know, folks, color is a color grading software. That's all it's made to do. So, when you work on a shot in here, yeah, it's going to look a lot better. But you've got to take the time to get in here and learn to use the primary and the secondary as a color effect, the primary out, the geometry, the still store. Yeah, we're going to help you with that. We're working on a series. But even then, you're still going to have to take a lot of time to go from just simply clicking wheels in a three-way color corrector to working in color. So what's the bottom line? Should you use color? Should you not use color? If you've got the time to put in to learn the application and really feel comfortable with it, by all means, go ahead and use it. If you're trying to get something done fast and just do what you know, then stay in Final Cut Pro, get your project done, and then if you've got some time, do what I just did. Take the same shot, send it over to color, and use that as your practice. Because you know what you were able to do in Final Cut Pro, now try to emulate or possibly do better in color what you did in Final Cut Pro. Hope that helps.